Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Mars Warlogs. This game came out in July 2013, and I honestly don't know much about the storyline. I can tell you that this is an action RPG that takes place in the Red Planet and that it features melee combat, some use of guns, and even straight-up magic, which they call technomancy. But I can't tell you who I am, where I'm going, or what I'm trying to do when I get there. <laughs> Actually, the game kind of reminds me, uh... of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. That, you know, that might be a completely flawed comparison, I don't know. But, uh, it's just the impression I get from what little I've seen of this game. I can also tell you, though, that this game was made by a French developer, and that when it originally came out, in the uh, English territories, I mean, the reviews were, uh, pretty much unanimous in shitting on the dialogue, on the quality of the writing and the voice acting. See, they didn't just uh, machine translate the script and call it a day, but they did translate it literally. And uh, <laughs> a phrase that's beautiful in French might not work so well in English. Anyway, this distressed the devs so much that they went out and hired some local language experts to help them fix the dialogue. They went in and retranslated a great big chunk of the script, this time focusing on what the original writers meant, not on what they said. Then they brought voice actors in to you know, re-record the new dialogue. And in some cases where they really didn't like the old voice acting, they went as far as uh, entirely scrapping the performances of certain voice actors and recasting those characters with new actors. I'm told that this includes at least one party member. <sighs> anyway, then to top it all off, they uh, released you know the upgraded dialogue and stuff for free as a patch, as opposed to you know the alternative dialogue patch. See what the writers really meant for five dollars or you know something like that. Why am I mentioning this now in the intro instead of just as a side thing during a low moment? Well, because it's a big part of what attracted me to the game in the first place, what made me want to do an LP of it. I've never heard of anything like that being done for a game after it came out before. And more than that, there's just something about the idea of a developer that's that dedicated to the story part of their game that really appeals to me as a writer. Anyway, you know, down to business. If you've never seen one of my video series before, I'm doing this blind. I'm going to record myself playing the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Savvy? Great. Now with all that being said and done, let's play Mars Warlogs. I did a uh, frame rate test that consisted of me just running around in the very first area, and I didn't really find anything out about the storyline. So I'll just start a new game, overwrite that, and we'll put it on the default difficulty level of media. get to see the cutscene this time. I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. The 
very first thing is C. Politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Is two guys moving and synchronized? I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. Might be a bad sign. We'll see. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away. Me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. I happen to know that the Martian day is about the same length as the one on Earth, maybe half an hour longer. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. So they can't use the excuse that the sun's out during the night, too, or something you like that. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Hmm. Wow, that was bleak. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new yeah. home. I thought it was, uh, over just there. My bad. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. What? really is sand. Could you get clean by rubbing yourself with sand? That doesn't make much sense to me. Get a load of this, fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, this just makes my day. I was getting tired of doing the same old arses. Oh, God. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. <laughs> what do you want? Can't go your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. 
Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up! Nobody can understand your squeaking boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Uh. <laughs> what are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. Ah, I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't wanna catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. Oh, I'm this guy. <laughs> I uh did the frame rate test a while ago, and I didn't remember what I looked like. <laughs> I mean, it's history. Forget it. I wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him. How are you doing? Better. It's weird, I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. Innocence and Roy. I told you to forget it. You still in shock or what? Listen, if you're feeling better, let's get moving. You're an easy mark here, we gotta go. I'm good. I'll follow you. This is shiny, so I'm going to assume I can interact with this. Alright, that seems pretty straightforward. Oh. Wait, why do I have these? Yeah, if these are like, yeah. If this is just straight up worse, why do I even have these? What's that do? Oh! You can upgrade stuff, that's cool. Like, it's not just a piece of armor, I can make this piece of armor better. It's a thing, yeah, slot shoulders as opposed to, I can't do that for this one. You need to find four cloth to get this. That's interesting. Uh, where the fuck am I just gonna find? I don't think I'm gonna find that lying around. Oh, neat. So I get some perks for uh, just doing stuff. I can unlock some more with points. Oh, look at that. Charismatic, cruel, inhuman. Nice. Oop, 
hard to see that is. Attributes. Health and fluid. I'm going to guess that's mana. Pretty standard. I have to move the mouse out of the way, though. I don't think you can see it in the recording. Uh, guard break. Oh, there's a lot of shit in here. Combat. Renegade. Technomancy. Oh, I already have magic powers. Alright. This is uh, pretty straightforward. The fighting uh, tree. The. What is this? Oh, uh, this is, looks like the. The stealth tree. And the magic tree, which I guess I currently can't currently do. Maybe I need someone to train me how to be a Jedi. Oh god, let's wait for the actual. Let's wait to actually get in a fight before I start poking through that stuff. Uh, oh hey, lore. Uh, Mars. Mars is now a habitable planet, but living conditions are very harsh. The solar radiation is lethal, water is very rare, plant gro growth stunted, and the animals mostly mutated. Despite everything, there are many enclaves belonging to the different water guilds. Mars has been colonized for over two centuries by Terrans. I don't think I'm going to read all of this, but... Uh, it is still not possible to speak of complete terraformation, however, as in the beginning there were only scattered enclaves in the most likely regions for human and animal colonization, places sustained by the creation of plants that could thrive and produce a breathable atmosphere. Cities were built on the Red Planet, along with agricultural areas, mines, livestock, breeding areas, and research centers, so the colonists could sustain themselves on the planet. Different animal species are also imported, with the idea being to eventually create a new Earth. Unfortunately, the idea was cut, brutally cut short, well before the process could be finished. Let me look at just these. Uh, Roy. Roy is a strange man of the troubled past. His virtue name is Temperance, but he doesn't like being called that, and prefers the name he chose himself. He was originally from Aurora, and is now a prisoner of war in Camp 19. Innocence Smith is a young man who got caught up in the war against Abundance despite himself. He was completely traumatized by the violence of the fighting and by having to kill other soldiers. Fatso is a pervert. His unhealthy appetites make him the terror of Camp 19. If he hadn't been captured by abundance, his behavior prob would probably have led to a court-martial. In a way, he's enjoying a respite and takes advantage of it as often as possible by uh, mistreating new arrivals. Yes? Come on, let's go. I talked to this? No. How about you guys? Any of you guys interested in talking? Well, the only really interesting one of you is not Riddick here. Oh shit, this stuff is finished. I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Careful how loud you say that around here, dude. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels, is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump, and I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> If you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man, pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise around here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, He's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment, or 
serum. An unfinished colonization job. So the planet's livable, it's just a shithole. Oh dear. <laughs> Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet, because I'm gonna ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Improvised weapon it is. Taste muffler, asshole! Alright, I was right about that. Hit with X. You took out the runt. Now you're gonna eat that smile of yours. And you're blocking enemies with Y to break their guards, you can hurt them again using X. Eat several dicks! She'd probably like that. Fucking rape gang. Uh oh. You're gonna tell me how to block? Yeah, hold B to block. What is with the names around here? Rectitude. And temperance. And innocence. Look at that, my health's regenerating. Ow. Alright, fine. Oh shit. How's Innocence doing? Pretty good. I says he was in a war after all. Yeah! That's appropriate. Rad looking gun. I like that they don't take our weapons or anything. It's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish it was at the front. You. You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names? Not really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. You look a little out of your element, kid. How'd you end up here? I was recruited. And then there was the war. I was captured a while back, and... And there you go. I... I never would have imagined that there were camps like this. It's just a POW camp, you know? We haven't got it that bad. But you gotta watch out for each other. You got a taste of what happens when we don't. In spite of all that, I got plans to leave. You, uh, up for helping me? Leaving? Y you mean escaping, don't you? Is it even possible? Alone? No. But two of us. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Whoa, what? Did I just ding or something? I did! Congratulations, you just went up your first level. Press left to check your skill trees in the in-game menu and unlock new abilities. Uh... 
Science of Evasion. Tough Skin. Science of Parry. I might go with uh, these at some point. But I think for now... I'm gonna go with the armor upgrade. Oh, it looks like you can put multiple points into... Uh, in, is it just... Yeah, these are... Th so I can put like three points into this and uh, improve it. Well, in that case, I'll just go for the first one and get 5% physical damage reduction. ACQUIRE THIS SKILL! They should put a question mark there. Alright then. Hey! Achievement unlocked upgrade a skill. Upgrade a skill! <laughs> Alright. That should about do it for the first episode. So, uh... I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Mars Warlogs. Only you try to get a better feel for the prison camp. Later!